Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful zoom in magnifying glass effect. So stay tuned. I'm starting off with um, my workspace. This workspace is 1280 by 720 pixels. And I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to place a photo on my desktop of a bride and groom. So I want to place this image as my background, but if I do that, that is going to cut off the bottom and top because as I resize it, I'm going to lose that bottom part of the beach. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use magic expand to give me a little bit more space here on this side. So I've got my image clicked. I'm going to go into edit image. I'm just going to come here to the side where it has magic expand. I'm going to select freeform and I'm going to drag this over because I want to fill in this space magically, I guess. So I'm going to scroll down. I'll say magic expand and it's going to come up with four different examples for me to choose from and I'll choose one of them. Now they all appear to look very similar to me. So I will just select the first one and I'll say done. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into elements and I'm going to place a second photo on my desktop and I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm also going to place a, a photo of a looking glass on my desktop and I'm going to make that a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to place a circle frame on my workspace as well. And that will come here. And I'll just try and cover the edges. So now I'll take this image here and I'm going to place it in my magnifying glass. Now to move my image, just double click on the frame and you can move it from side to side. So I'll, I've moved it to the side. I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So now that we have the picture of the couple in that circle frame, we're going to double click on that frame and we want to do a close up. So we're going to make or resize this image. And you can customize this to your liking, but I'm going to try and get the uh, faces up close as much as possible. So um, I'll just leave it like that. All right, so now I'm going to add a glass shadow effect on top. So I'll go to elements and I'm going to place this element on top. Now a tip is to when you're working with frames and you're placing elements on top of frames, handle them by the corner so that they don't slip inside the frame. Okay, so I'm now just going to make this a little bit larger like this. And now I'm going to take the background image and I'm going to blur it. So I'll come in here. I'm going to go to blur. And I'm going to blur the whole image and I'm going to toggle the intensity just a little bit. I want to be able to see what the image is, but just blur it a little bit. So I think I'll leave it like that and I'll close that. And now I'm going to take that image and I'm also going to toggle the transparency, making it less opaque. So I'll just bring that down a little bit like that. And um, I think I'm pretty happy with that right now. Now I'm going to add um, some decorative elements on the bottom. I'm going to add a ribbon and I'm going to place this ribbon in here. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and I'm going to create an in and out effect. So I'm just going, I want for the that part to go underneath. Okay, and now I'm going to just make a duplicate of that and I'll place it right on top. And I'm going to go to position and layers and let me just close that so we get a bigger screen. 
Uh, so I'll go to position and layers and I'm going to take that this bottom ribbon and just put it underneath that magnifying glass like that. And I'm going to take the ribbon on top and I'm going to crop it like this just to make it look like it's going underneath um, like that. So and now when we um, click outside we notice that there's a little bit of a line there that's because of the shadow so what we can do for that is we can use some shadows circular shadows to just hide that and just we just need to make them that small enough so that it's not that noticeable like that and finally we can place some writing on the side that says just married and the date like this and that's about it. Note that I have opened up my YouTube membership and different levels have different perks. So click that join button and see if you're interested in joining any of the levels. In one of my levels, I provide access to a private Facebook group where individuals get priority, feedback, and help with their designs one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked anything, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified for when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I'll say bye-bye. Until next time.